Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. This is Quick Internal Medicine, and today we're gonna talk about the EKG. EKG, okay. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the sinus bradycardia. Sinus bradycardia. Bradycardia. Okay, sinus bradycardia. To know sinus bradycardia, you should know what's a normal cardiac, what you call sinus. The normal cardiac sinus, the normal cardiac sinus, okay, um, it has to follow what you call a, a characteristic feature, then we call it as a normal cardiac um, sinus. So, you know very well the heart rate of the patient normally should be between 60 to 100. If it's below 60, we call it as a bradycardia, and if it's above 100, we call it as a tachycardia, right, guys? So to to know the rhythm, when we know what you call, when we calculated the heart rate, and, and in previous video we uploaded how to calculate uh, heart rate. So we uploaded a video on that. Do watch that video, and uh, here we're gonna talk about the normal cardiac, uh, what you call uh, sinus bradycardia. To know sinus bradycardia, we should know what is a normal cardiac sinus. So to know so normal cardiac sinus, it should fulfill the criteria. Look at this, the heart rate, what you call the heart rate should be between 60 to 100. 60 to 100 beats per minute. Okay, and the P wave should be upright or positive, upright, okay. In a lead two, in a lead two, okay, in lead two, and inverted, and the P wave is inverted, okay, it's inverted in what you call uh, AVR, AVR, okay, guys. So this is really very important. Um, heart rate should be between sixty to hundred. The P wave should be upright in lead two. P wave should be inverted in AVR. And every QRS, every P wave is followed by what you call QRS complexes. Okay, QRS complex. So really very important. This is the basic thing that you should know. You should never ever forget. So now let's talk about the sinus bradycardia. To call it the sinus bradycardia, bradycardia means less than 60, right? So heart rate should be less than 60. To call it as a sinus bradycardia, SB. Let me write here, okay? But since it's a sinus, so it's going to be the P wave will be upright in what you call lead 2 and inverted in lead what you call AVR. Okay, and the, every P wave is followed by QRS complex. So only the rhythm, the heart rate should be uh, less than 60. That's it. Okay, so this is really very important. So it is unusual for a sinus bradycardia to be slower than what you call 40 beats per minute. Remember. Okay, it should be below 60 to call it as a sinus bradycardia, but it is unusual for sinus bradycardia to be slower than 40 beats per minute. Any slower, what you call uh, sinus bradycardia heart rate, uh, you should consider an alternative cause such as heart block. Very important, heart block you should consider. Okay, sinus bradycardia, you know, it can be a, a normal physiologically seen in uh, athletes or during sleep. Okay, but there are some causes for sinus bradycardia. Let's talk about that. drugs we have the drugs like what you call digoxin beta blockers beta blockers okay then ischemic heart disease myocardial infarction hypothyroidism okay hypothermia Then we have electrolyte imbalance, uremia, then we have raised ICT, intracranial tension or pressure, ICP, sick sinus syndrome, okay, or some cases of what you call obstructive jaundice. So these are what causes for a sinus bradycardia. So if the sinus bradycardia is severe or if the sinus, if what you call sinus arrest or SA block is prolonged, 
escape bits and escape rhythms may occur remember this is really very important okay so this is going kind to of the brief idea about the sinus bradycardia what's the sinus bradycardia and what's are the causes for that okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care